Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be opening something super special. It is the first in our series of Flesh and Blood opening. Flesh and Blood is a brand new TCG game from Legend Story Studio down in New Zealand. Um, it has not hit Europe and the UK properly yet. I managed to get hold of these through um, a contact. This is the Arcane Rising set. There's the second of the three sets that are out so far. So you've got Welcome to Wraith, Arcane Rising and Crucible of War. We've got some Crucible as well to open at some point. The really cool thing about this though is if you have a look, you got that sweet little first edition logo there. First edition means that you're going to get some pretty cool things to go in these. Um, it's been a while since I've opened a booster box of anything. Have I got a little weapon in my drawer to open anything? There you go. Get a little, uh, get a little, a little uh, screwdriver piece. So, box comes with 24 um, packs. I think it's uh, 10 cards per pack. You've got different rarity levels, so you've got your commons. Your rares, um, I believe in this set because it was the first edition, you've got super rares, um, le legendaries, fables, and majestics. So let's get these out, let's get this open. So these are a 15 card booster actually, it's I think it's 10 cards for Crucible and that's why it's a bit smaller of a box. Um, but yeah, so we have all of these wonderful packs to open. Let's get into it. So, this is a game that I was introduced to by my friend Mikey. Um, and yeah, we started playing it. We really enjoy it. So, you start off with your commons. We've got Vega Rush, so generic action attack, a cadaverous contraband, generic action attack, back alley breakline, generic action, push the point, generic action. Then we got our first rare, which is Oath of the Arc Knight, a rune blade action. And we've got Pedal to the Metal, a uh, rare mech action. So I'm really looking to push mechs. Um, so mechs and rune blades are probably the ones I'm going to be looking a little bit into more. And we've got a common foil, uh, ridge, ridge, uh, ridge Rider Shot. You get a foil in every pack. Um, best of the First, uh, generic action there. Mech Knowledge action, Dissipation Shield. Salvage Shot, uh, locked and loaded. I think it's all just commons from here. Reverberate spell so Scolding Rain. Read the runes and a token Techloplasma Pistol rune charm. So yeah, so that's kind of the composition of a pack. You get a load of commons, a couple of rares, a foil, which can obviously be any rarity, much like any other game you play, and a token. So the tokens will have a weapon, or you know, um, it can have one of your hero characters. So just a couple of commons, and we've got uh, Elrina's Irina's Prayer rare. And stir the ether wind wizard rare and an ether sink rare foil. Pretty cool. Hello, more commons. And Dash. Dash is um, the mech hero. So, one that I really want to play, one that I really want to be pulling a lot of cool stuff for. Uh, mechs and rune blades are where I'm looking at here. So, let's fingers crossed for these. So, the game is really new. Um, as I say, it's not been released in the UK yet. Um, but it's just got such a good feel. They want to build the um, the model, so you'll pour the mold and ether spindles are rares and a common index foil. Um, so yeah, so they're just really pushing the open play, the organized play, Azalea, uh, um, organized play aspect of the game. I think that's really important because, you know, in these times, there's no real organized play. Pokemon, uh, magic have really stopped. Fantasy Flight just don't really care anymore. Um, so Life for a Life rare and Pour the Mold rare and a Foresight common. Yeah, Magic, Pokemon have kind of given up on a lot of their open play and real life card play. They're really just pushing online. Um, and FFG, as I said, have just kind of given up in general. But this is a game which they've basically named it on the basis of them wanting to push organized play. And to me, I think that's a really cool bit so with a tip and induction chamber. So that is our first super rare, mech super rare as well. Pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, so something they're really pushing is the um, face-to-face -face play, real play. And I think that's like 
really important. I think down in Australia and New Zealand, they've been running a couple of tournaments with like big cash prizes to get the game going. I think they've just had like maybe their first nationals, uh, Arena's Prayer and Spellblade Assault and a foil Spellblade Assault. Um, yeah, we're really just pushing that down there and you know, I like it. I like it. I've one of the reasons why I got so into Game of Thrones was because of the organized play outlet of it all. And uh and yeah, I miss that. It's something that I really do want from my card games. And um something I know a lot of people do as well. And I think that's why this is so popular in the UK. So another silver the tip and forked lightning, super rare, wizard action. And drawn to the dark dimensions. So I don't really know what cold foils massively look like. Let's just have a little look through some of our foils. And they all just look like normal foils to me. But um, maybe we'll know when we see one. I don't really know what the difference is, but we'll find out if one comes on. I don't know how many you get. I think there might be like one a case, two a case. Um, I'm not sure. Um, we've got 16 boxes in total, 8 and 8, so we'll have a look. So take aim and absorb in ether. And foil read the runes. So yeah, you um, may have noticed you have young hero and old hero, uh, or just hero. Um, young hero is mainly for limited formats, so you start with a lower life, kind of just like in magic, you start your limited format at 20. Um, and yeah. Pretty cool. So, Plunder Run, generic action, Oath of the Ark Knight, Ruben Lane action, and a Foil Ridge Rider. Shot, and another dash. I think that's. I think we've got most of the heroes in this pack. I think Kano might be the only main hero left. He is the wizard. You've got Dash, uh, you've got Kano, you've got Azalea, and you've got, um, I've already forgotten his name, Old Vizere. So, yeah, just four in this, in each of the main sets. Plunder Run and Reduce to Rune Chant, a Foil Fervent Forerunner. God, these foils are so good. I'm used to magic foils, which... Um, are awful and there's young Kano. Yeah, I'm used to magic foils. They're basically just awful. And these are just smooth. I think this is this is either made by the people who do poke um, magic cards at the moment or someone who used to over in Belgium. And the quality of the cards is just so strong. Pour the mold. I want a Teclo core. That is a majestic and that is a card. Absolutely happy to get that. And a foil spellblade strike. So these are the first boxes I've opened of this. I'm going to a sealed event this weekend uh, in Northampton, Manor Screw, my local card game shop. Uh, Mark is really supporting this game. Um, we had an intro event the other week with 12 players. Um, this one was capped at 12 and it's sold out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just so jazzed to just play this game. Uh, rare Eva Spindle and Take Cover and a Foil Scolding Room. Yeah, I'm just really jazzed to just get this game played, get this together and just kind of go from, go from there. So for me, I just really want to have this game be a big deal. Um, and I think it's going to be, I think they're doing such a good thing. A Sun Kiss and an Eva Spindle. And a Stir the Ether Winds. Oh, no. So, no. Ether Spindle and Stir the Ether Winds. Uh, before I've got a triple rare there. Um, plus, plus a shiny. But no, none of that. So, there's Kano as well. So, I think we're about half, just over halfway through this box. And there are some really good cards in here. As I say, getting Teclo Core already is great. Um, obviously, you need multiples of a lot of these things. But, you know, we're only just starting out. So you've got uh, Arena's Prayer and Pedal to the Medal and a Foil Fate for Scene. And Azalea. So these tokens are all double-sided as well. So, you you know, you've got weapons, other versions of their older and younger selves and stuff on. So, which is really good with the tokens because it means that you can get the heroes you want. It means you can get some of the weapons you want and some of the... Um, other kind of tokeny side bits that you want, which is really good. Um, 
instead of just there. An advert, an advert, so life for a life, silver the tip, and a read the runes. Yeah, I'm really liking this game. The, the look of it's cool. It's got a really good look. Um, I think they call it like the classic card game, well, your new classic card game. Just a really good way of putting it. Convection Amplifier and Mordred Tide. Uh, and that is another Majestic. Mordred Tide, nice. And a rare Stir the Evil Winds foil. We're going to go through at the end all the rares and mythics and legendaries. Um, so we can kind of have a little look to see how it how it's all panned out for a box. So you get, so you get 24 packs in here. And you know you get two rares a pack. So we will have a little kind of look at that. So we've got an Ether Sync rare and a Pedal to the Metal rare and a Hyperdrive foil. So really wanting to play Mech in this set is great for me because this is like the Mech, like the Mech launch set. Um, and yeah, Mechanologists are good. They're strong. Um, if you wanted to play one of the four. Um, from the first set, so you got an O for the Ark Knight and a Life for a Life and a Foil Arena's Prayer. Um, yeah, if you wanted to play a bit more of the guys from the first set, unfortunately you do need Welcome to Wraith to get a lot more stuff to support those. The ones that come in the um, the uh, the starter decks, but you know you get a lot of cool generic actions and you get support for some of the more powerful heroes. So, ooh, and a. Foil Majestic Teclo Core. God. Three Majestics in this box, I think. Three or four. And then what does one super rare? So um, the rarity is super rare, then majestic, then legendary, um, and then and then fabled. And fabled is like one in a million, uh, basically. So, you know, I'm not expecting that. So stir the for wind. Spellblade Assault, Spellblade Strike Foil. Coming down to the last few packs and I'm enjoying myself so goddamn much. I'm definitely going to just enjoy sorting through these, seeing what we've got to build decks. Got a couple of friends to do some trades with and to get the strongest decks we can. Ether Spindle, Take Aim and Amplify the Arc Knight Foil. Definitely gonna be able to get a couple of decks out of these, I reckon. Um, no problem. Oh, just jumped straight past the rares. A life for a life and the Spellblade Assault. And a foil headshot, and I think this is what a cold foil is. Um, it's ever so slightly different, I think. 100% not sure, to be honest. But we've got them <laughs> coming in this set. So, um, yeah, I honestly don't know what the difference is with a cold foil. I think that is one. I'm fairly sure of it. I'll have a little look when I get through our cards to see the difference for a cold foil. But I think that is one. Um, and they're kind of highly collectible because they do look really nice. So reduced to rune charm and chain of eminence, super rare. Generic aura there. And a searing shot. Last pack of this box. I'm just gonna have a little look through the rares and super rares and see what see what we've got, see what's going on there. Um let's see what we like. So enchanting melody and reduced to rune chant and a voltaic a voltic bolt. So okay guys, so let's just have a little look up of the rares. So we'll start with the generics. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve generic rares and a super rare. For the rune blades, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rares and a majestic rare. For wizards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rares and a super rare. For rangers, one, two, three, four, five rares, six rares, seven rares, 
terrible hands there. Seven res. And mech, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten res, and two majestic res. So that is a cracking opening pack there. So this is our first box. If you are interested in purchasing any of these singles, please do hit me up on YouTube, on Facebook, Adam East, on Twitter, Adam for good. And uh, hit me up, see if uh, I've got any of these spare going and uh, we'll see if we can make a deal. Keep watching the videos, like, subscribe, share them. I'm trying to get as much content out for Flesh and Blood in the UK as possible. And uh, hopefully we can keep doing this. We'll do some games. We'll do some pack openings, we'll do some reviews, and yeah, here we go. Let's enjoy Flesh and Blood. Thanks, guys.